Maybe that's why this building lags so much. There's just so many pillows in this room. Hey everybody, it's Moombo here, and welcome back to another episode of Scrap Mechanic City with another module. And this time, I'm gonna be showing you guys this awesome ambulance that I made during a stream. And I'll put a link in the description if you want to check out the past stream and see the build process of this, as well as a little bit of this hospital. Now, as you can see, I've added a whole bunch all around the hospital, I've finished painting it, and I've also added a really sweet helicopter to the entire set. Uh, so, it's four floors uh, full of awesome stuff, so let's go and check it out. As you can see over to the right there, I've added a bus stop just to kind of remind us all of the full-size city, uh, and hoping that the new engine will, of course, be able to take all of this. So I'm just going to drive around and show you guys the exterior. Alright, so here we are at the front entrance of the hospital. As you can see on the other side here, it was the kind of the emergency room entrance here. Uh, but we'll go in through the front entrance. I have to warn you guys, there is a bit of an FPS drop in this one because it is just so massive. I have a lot to show you guys, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, so here we are in the front entrance of the hospital. Uh, as you can see, it's very, very spacious. Uh, this is kind of like the front reception area here. Of course, if you're not having an emergency, you would come here first. Uh, or even if you were, you could come here. Uh, so to the right, and I guess the way I, the best way I can explain it is I could run out here. So the right side of the building is kind of like the emergency side of the building. And over on this side, the left side of the building is pretty much kind of like the administrative and more of the care kind of side of the building. Uh, so we will go up each floor and see each side. So we'll start down on the ground floor, obviously. We saw the entrance here. Uh, here you can see that's like actually like a first aid cabinet. So over here, this is where you would pretty much come in for like an initial assessment. As you can see, there's a bit of a kind of like a registry area here. Uh, and then on this side, you can see there's a little bit of a bulletin board. So you'll be directed over to this side here, which has, I think there's three cubicles in total. Uh, so this is the kind of cubicle that they would probably take your blood pressure, uh, get your name and information as well, and all of your medical history. Uh, so you can see there's three booths for that. Now coming over this way, this is the first elevator. Uh, I put two elevators in here, and these were elevators that I used in the apartment complexes at the same time, so there was two there and there's two here as well. And these were made by Lego Freak, uh, as I said in the other video as well. I'll put a link in the description to his Steam Workshop and channel so you guys can check him out. Uh, I love these elevators. Uh, now before we go up that elevator, uh, we'll go over to the emergency side here. So here this is the reception area. Uh, from the back here. And this is just like a little bit of a, a filing area for some documents, of course. And this is the emergency side here. So, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of medical chairs here. This is where you would be sitting, uh, ready for emergency. So this would be like the triage area. Uh, so basically, you would come into the hospital and sit here first and get processed in these two little booths here, so I didn't really put much in them. I was getting pretty lag restricted, uh, but as you can see there's two first aid stations, so this would be like the initial triage, uh, treating patients as they come in uh, with the most importance. And from here we can go up the elevator, so we'll take the emergency side up first. Alright, so here we are coming out onto the second floor. Uh, now this wasn't quite the emergency side, I guess I should say. 
uh, but this is aside for some some longer term care here so I just have a couple beds here as you can see I made these pretty neat hospital beds uh, with a little IV drip as well so this room here comes with a TV and a couple of plants in the pots there and so you can see that one has an IV as well and this is where you would come, I mean, I would like to have probably put some more rooms, but the building would have been even bigger. Uh, and I have a whole bunch of cool stuff back there. So here, though, uh, would be kind of like a spot to register for uh, meeting with people. Uh, sometimes you might need to have, make an appointment with them. Now, over this way, this is the administration kind of side and some offices as well. Uh, so as you can see, it's uh, pretty big and open. There's a bathroom right there. Uh, and this would essentially just be some some offices for the doctors or even some people who are administrative like EOs of the buildings as well. And that of course is a water cooler. So this would be like a big conference area. I wanted to put more chairs, but I mean, as you can see, the FPS is pretty bad. So this is a pretty simple room in the end, uh, but a nice table. Uh, you can imagine there'd be a whole bunch of chairs and doctors and administrative staff. So this is the other side where you were looking at when we first came off the elevator. And this is a temporary holding bed, and I'll show you guys why this bed is there. Uh, so you can see there's a couple more chairs. So this leads into a little bit of a, a weird room here. So I decided to add, uh, as you can see, a padded room. Uh, so sometimes you might need to take a patient and put them in a padded room. Uh, if they're being very aggressive or, or possibly waiting for the police to come, you never know. Uh, so I, I thought that was kind of neat. Maybe that's why this building lags so much. There's just so many pillows in this room. Uh, but nonetheless, I had to put it in, and it looks pretty neat when you're inside of it. As you can see, this is just the quick exit here to both sides of the elevators. Uh, so we took the emergency side elevator. This time we will take the kind of the administrative side and we'll head on up to the third floor. All right, here we are at the third floor. So on the right side, uh, this is, well, actually, well, the entire floor is the maternity ward. Uh, so I made a whole a whole floor dedicated to that. As you can see, it's kind of color themed a little bit as well. Uh, for no specific reason, but just to kind of divide the two ideas of the upstairs here on the third floor. Uh, so as you can see right here, this is the area that you would see all the newborn babies. All those little babies uh, chilling out, hanging out in here so the families could come and have a look at them. Uh, as you can see, there's a back hall that goes from one side all the way to the other there. Uh, which is right here facing the entire uh, front kind of courtyard. But before we go through the back there, we'll head on back over this way to the left side of the building. Of course, there's another registry here. And there's the second elevator. So as you can see, I just put, put a couple of couches down so you can hang out and relax. Uh, this is kind of a, a quieter floor of the hospital, uh, but as you can see, this is pretty much the maternity ward, so all the expecting mothers, of course, could have a bed with some privacy here. So there's three of them that are all exactly the same. And then you come around here to the back side of the registry. As you can see, there's a whole slew of filing cabinets, and I can imagine you probably would because you have so many babies, so many names to process, and so many people, so you would keep track of all of them here. And then, of course, this is where the nurses could come in and put the babies down so they can relax and the families can see them. And we are going to run over now to the emergency side and we will take the elevator here up to the fourth floor now. So here we are on the fourth floor now. Uh, this is where we would have some short-term care patients. Uh, the emergency room would be essentially sending up the patients to this area so we could hold them here in these cool little cubicles that have some nice beds installed. Uh, now before we go up this ramp here actually, we're gonna head over to the other side, uh, which will have a few more things. 
Uh, on the left here, you'll see that there's actually some some long-term care here. So you can see there's a machine and an IV drip there. And uh, pretty much the same thing on this side here, actually, with some duplicates of the same items. And over here, we have the surgery room. Uh, now, this is pretty neat. I actually decided to put a big window here. And the reason was, uh, usually you could actually see some students trying to learn surgery for their, their doctorates. Uh, so you, you can actually have a, a little viewing here while a doctor is performing surgery. As you can see, there's an IV drip here as well, and a tool tray for the tools that would be needed. And if we just hop over here quickly, you'll see it's got some pretty neat stadium seating uh, with some actual seats that you can sit down in. So now let's head on up to the roof where the emergency helicopter is. As you can see, I have a button right here that will actually move the entire ramp, so if I press this button here, uh, you'll see that the ramp can go all the way up and be hidden. And now if I press it again, of course, it'll come down so we can actually ramp our way up. And this is the rooftop helicopter landing pad. As you can see, the helicopter is pretty neat. I found a really cool image online of an emergency helicopter uh, that kind of followed the same painting idea as well. I decided against putting a sliding door on it because I just didn't have any room actually. Uh, and I decided to finally put the steering for the helicopter in this side right here. Uh, so let's see what this helicopter is all about. Uh, it's a really fun helicopter to fly, and it's really simple. You really just have to worry about keeping your tail up. So if I press 1, it'll get the blade spinning. And if I press 2, that is what's going to lift me up in the air. And you can actually just press W to fly forward like so. Now if you press A and D, you'll see it kind of spins you around. Uh, so that's why you really just need to worry about keeping your tail up like so. And that'll always keep you level. And then of course you can always zip around with the W key. So there we go, I was able to land back onto the roof. Ooh, I'm losing some frames here for some reason. I'm probably just gonna delete this helicopter now and run back down to the ground. I don't know what's going on. So there you have it guys, it is the hospital all finished and ready to go. I hope you enjoyed the video and I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the video, then be sure to hit that like button. And of course, subscribe for Endless Scrap Mechanic. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one.